Well, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys could join me on this uh, this adventure. So, what we're planning on doing today? So I'm gonna uh, take Wilbur, my four wheeler. We're gonna head off to an old uh, old ghost town in a mining area. Now, I visited it uh, this winter, so there was a lot of snow up there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up there today with the metal detector and the old buildings. We're going to metal detect around the old buildings that are long gone now. And then we're going to go around the old mining structures. There's an ore bin that's still up there. All the adits have been sealed. Uh, the head frame has fallen down, but we'll go up there. I'm going to include pictures of the area, uh, what it used to be before the fire in the 70s. So... Uh, Welcome and uh, let's get this adventure started. All right, everybody. So I just came off the uh, the main road in here. Now the main road to get into here is a old railroad bed from back in uh, late 1800s to early 1900s. It uh, serviced a lot of the uh, mines and quarries that were out here. So where we're going is right up through this canyon, it's called Barlow Canyon, up to this mine, uh, mining town. Now it was established in 1908, and it was abandoned in 1918. So they were up here doing lead, zinc, and silver. Now this area is part of the North Tinnock Mining District. So uh, in the description, I'm gonna put the history of, of, this, uh, of this mine. Now in 1971, the National Guard was doing something out here and they started this canyon on fire. And because of that fire, the rest of the buildings were burnt to the ground. So that's what I'm gonna be metal detecting around is the old building sites. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm gonna include pictures of before and after the fire where the, uh, the buildings were. So I'm just going to work my way up through Barlow Canyon, and uh, once we get up to the mine, uh, we'll be uh, up there doing what we need to do, you know, trying to find some treasures and see if we can find some artifacts, and hopefully we can find some old coins. But I just wanted to show everybody this is the uh, the beginning of, the, of that, and I do apologize for the wind, it's very windy out here today. So I'll see you at the top. close to the town now folks here is uh here's that old jeep from this winter so right up around this uh bin you can start seeing that uh mineralized dirt there's an ore bin and there it is Now 
we're gonna do some exploring of the ore bin too. You can see where the old road was right through here. So the, either the trains or the, the wagons would come in and that ore chute right there, the ore bin would dump into uh, whatever's transporting back down the canyon there. Now this canyon's full of uh, pinion, pines, and junipers. We do have some rose bushes here. Now one of the mines is up here. There's some more adits and stuff there. Right up in here was a head frame. And then this low lining area was where the town was and where we're gonna be metal detecting today. So, welcome to the town of Scranton, Utah. All right, everybody. So this is, uh, this is where the town of Scranton was. Now over there is a uh, big water tank. There was a few buildings there. There was a uh, structure right here. You could kind of see some uh, T-posts with little white tops that outlined where the structure was. Now there was also a structure right here with the T-posts. So we're gonna start working our way through the, uh, the sagebrush with the metal detector. I'm running a, uh, my Equinox 800 with a uh, five inch coil tech coil on it you can see the uh, the ore bin down there and then right here behind us ab right up on the very top and we'll go up there there's a mine shaft now the head frame has since uh, fallen over and the government agencies have came up here and graded over the top of that shaft. And then up here on this mountain, there's a bunch of adits. Now the government that did this work also went up there and sealed those adits also. Uh, there is evidence of somebody trying to get into it. They're trying to drill through the concrete. If there was a way that I could get down that shaft, I'd be repelling in that shaft, but unfortunately, it's not uh, accessible. But this is uh, where we're all going to be metal detecting today and see what we can find. So I appreciate everybody uh, being here. Let's see what we can find. There's uh, remnants of, of the old building right here that didn't burn up in the fire. Well, just detecting around this little bush and stuff, and you can see where the building, you know, it obviously caught fire, it's been burned. But I found a grommet, an old grommet, probably went to a wall tent or some sort of a canvas tarp. So, not too bad. I'll clean it up and see if, uh, see what the material is. Whoops. Rang up at about a 15. Found another little outbuilding. All right, folks. So I think I just found something really, really cool here. Um, I found all this red dirt and I'm starting to see broken glass, but I found the, uh, the assay office, because look what I'm finding, cupels. These are the old cupels where they'd put some stuff in, some flux. That's cool. There's another cupel right there they're broken but i'm also finding now some porcelain so 
These were used to assay the uh, the gold, or not the gold, but the zinc, the silver, and the lead. And you never know, they could have found some gold too. So I'm gonna really metal detect this area and see if I can find any buttons. Because <clears throat> back in the day, what I've been told, especially 1800s, around the assay offices, if you can start finding cupels, it was just a very small, maybe quarter inch piece of uh, precious metals. That's where they'd assay it. They'd, you know, they do what they do to find the purity and stuff. But 90% of the time, they got thrown out. But I got this whole area right here. So that is free and neat. No cupel. I want to show everybody all this uh, cement right here, this flat, this was the floor of the building. You can see the imprint along here where it sat. I've just been moving it and stacking it in a pile just to look under. I'm finding a lot of uh, a broken glass, the thick stuff. Here's a real thin piece. I'll show you guys. Real thin piece of glass. That was probably a window, just because it's it's flat on both sides, it's, it's window thickness. So that was a good part that there was a window right here at one point. Also, I think the uh, smelter was probably sitting right in this area somewhere. There's the, uh, the roof jack. And then I'm finding a ton of slag like there's some slag right there where they slagged off. Now, a lot of this rock material right here, a lot of it is uh, limestone with a lot of quartz stringers. Then I have a lot of ironized rocks. That was probably what the uh, what they were crushing up, and then it has the uh, the minerals that they were mining, because you can see all through here. The, uh, the mineralized soil that's just that nice red, because it's got a lot of ton of iron in it. I did find an old, old can right here, an old oil can, which is neat. And then I found a, uh, another little can with a screw top on it. So I'm just going through all this. I'm finding more broken cupels. Like I said, a lot of slag. I have found some host rock that's, uh, that's ore that I'm gonna take home and crush up, maybe. This one's really, really neat. See the, uh, the, little, the little stringers in here? Now, I didn't bring my lube today to look into it, but there's definitely quartz in that stringer. So there is going to be still some material that they didn't crush up around here. But I'm just going to keep metal detecting. Like I said, I'm just cleaning this up a little bit so I can get a nice good flat area of metal detecting. Now there's a ton of nails here. And then there's, uh, no matter where you're at on the planet, there's always going to be a uh, pull tab somewhere. And I found four of them already. So. <laughs> As a metal detectorist, you, 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 you just learn to love to hate the, uh, the pull tab. So, there's a, there's a little flume pipe over here, which is really kind of neat, so we'll investigate that too. Just another old building. This building is located on the top part of the ore bin. Not sure exactly what this was. It was something to do with electrics though. 
They look like old telephone poles because on the end of that one, there's no broken insulator, but then the way these are, there's a foundation right down there where that white is. I'm gonna work our way down there and check that out. Then over to the ore bin. Uh, here's a big uh, submerged tank, almost like a sump. We're standing in where it used to look like there's a floor here. You got another foundation right here. Got a column. Another foundation there. Over there where some equipment was bolted. Then you've got this one. Any ideas uh, what this is, let me know in the comments, please. All right, here we are at the ore bin. Obviously it's uh, collapsed a bit. can see uh, where the opening of the ore chute is. Now all this wood that's on an incline used to, uh, used to be covered with some metal. There's just a little remnants of that metal left, just right there, still attached to the, uh, to the wood. definitely uh, seen better days. <laughs> now this is under the ore bin. You can see how it was constructed. And it gave that, uh, that dip so the ore would slide down into uh, the chute so it could be loaded. All right, now we're in front of the ore bin. And this is where either the train or a, uh, a freight wagon would come in and gather the ore from the bin and then either take it to the crushers or the stamp mill, smelter. But you can see the, uh, the remnants of the old, the old road. Now there's the old door, it's still here. If you look at this, <clears throat> this one's fallen almost apart. But you can see up there where a cable would have came through and it would lift up and down that door. They controlled it from the side. There was a piece on the side that would lift it up and down to allow the ore to come through. And as you can see, here's another one that's not as destroyed yet. There's the cable. There's the other uh, top piece for the, uh, is like a pulley system. But everything's just falling back into nature. All right, folks, so that signal was a rifle cartridge. And what I can make, it says 25-25. Not a bad little find. All right, everybody.
So yeah, like I said, there's just a lot of broken cupels. I mean, this assay office must have been just busy. Just with the, the mine tailings of this, everything from the ore. Must have just been very, very busy place. So I'm going to work my way up to the, uh, the mine workings. Huh. That's a little strange. I'm standing here. I'm completely alone. And uh, I can smell uh, somebody smoking a pipe. I can smell pipe smoke. Very strongly, in fact. What the heck? That's crazy. Just look around for a second. Huh. That is really weird. I can smell, I can smell pipe smoke. Huh. Well, that's just, uh, that's just crazy cool. I mean, I do find a lot of old Prince Albert tobacco tins. I mean, they're obviously rusted and stuff like that, but... Huh, now it's gone. I can't smell it no more. That was strange. That was really, really strange. That was, that was weird. I was just sitting here talking to you guys. And uh, just smell a really, really strong smell of uh, tobacco smoke, pipe smoke. Or a cigar, either way. It wasn't cigarette smoke. It was pipe smoke. That was crazy. That is really, really nuts. It's cool. Really neat. Cause I'm just where the where the assay offices are, and then just uh, right out there by Wilbur, just a little bit this this side of Wilbur is uh, where the boarding house used to be for the uh, for the men, and then across from Wilbur there was other outbuildings and stuff, and then up there was outbuildings. But I've went through this whole town site and uh, found a few things. I haven't found any coins, no silver or anything. Which, eh, it's just neat to find what we found so far. But that, that smoke thing was, that was crazy. And you can't smell it now. And there is nobody up here but me and my four-wheeler. Wow. Well, off to the, uh, off to the shaft and then the adits. So we can find up there, folks. So there's another mine over here. Up there, there's an, uh, an adit, it's been sealed up. Main shaft is right here. And unfortunately, somebody sealed that up. Sealed that up. That one's got a, uh, the gate on it. That one's obviously a wall. And then there was also an entrance here that they've gated over. It's almost like uh, a shaft. Now standing here, you can feel the wind. So somewhere on top of this mountain, there is an open... That's, uh, there's wind coming through this mine. This would be a sweet one to explore. I mean, look at that. That, oh, wow. That is deep. That could be fun. And then you've got, you've got it like that. 
and unfortunately, we can't get in. But man, the wind coming through there is cold. It feels good. That is really cool. It's so nice when you get to get, you can kind of see into the mine. Be really nice to be in there and explore the levels. But that is cool. So the haulage must have came out of here. Man way here. And <laughs> that's a stope. That is crazy cool. That is just neat. Now it does look like some of this wall has fallen off. Oh boy. Oh, that could just be a lot of fun. Just a lot of fun. Nah, that's weathered out pretty bad though. <laughs> pretty neat. Well, on to the other mines. Uh, before we take Wilbur, I just want to show you guys something. I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but there is another prospect up there. And then there's one right there and another one up there. So there, there, and just on the other side of that. Pretty neat. Now we've got another uh, another ore bin. This is the one that was on the other side of the mountain from the main main ore bin that's over there. And then on our way down, we'll stop right here. And that's where the vertical shaft is. And then up here, there's two. Uh, adits that went into the mountain, they are sealed up. Go up to this uh, bin. See what we can see. Huh. So they made a grizzly out of some rail. That's what this is right here. So probably below that is going to be just like the other one. It's going to be a dip. Um, so it's slanted, so everything can come down. They'll dump the ore in, and it looks like it's a grizzly. It keeps the bigger stuff out. And they may, I would assume, some poor soul's got to get in there and huck it out. And if that's the case, <laughs> he was busy. <laughs> Very busy. Yeah, that's a, that's a grizzly. That's pretty sweet. And it goes all the way back, and that is uh, that's old rail that would be in the mine for your uh, for your cars. So let's uh, let's hike to the side of it and see if we can see anything from the top. Now we're at the top of the ore, this ore bin. It's obviously collapsed in. Now. While I'm going through all this, I'm definitely looking at the rocks that are in these uh, piles. Like I said earlier, they were up here with mining the lead, 
<clears throat> zinc and silver. The thing I'm looking for is called galena. Now, lead and silver travel in galena. Um, there's a mine called Cerro Gordo. And he found a pocket of galena, took it out, and they had it melted and all that good stuff, and he made a ring, which is pretty cool. So, and he is restoring that, uh, that ghost town. It's pretty neat. So we got haul roads all over. So we're gonna, uh, gonna work our way up. A lot of mineralization up here. A lot of iron oxides. And most of the rock I'm seeing is limestone with just tons of quartz stringers. Just tons of it. I have found a few rocks with some sulfur in it. So I'm gonna take those back and crush them up. Now look at this. So you've got your quartz, and then the red staining is going to be an iron. I'm also taking a uh, small magnet. I'm looking for uh, magnetite, just for kicks and giggles. Like I said, I haven't researched it enough yet, and I'll put everything in the description if they were lo locating gold too up here. I would assume that it was found. All right, folks. So we're above that uh, other ore bin. You can kind of see it through the trees. This was an attic. This one has been uh, caved in. Up around the uh, that way, there's another one, and that one has been cemented in. I'm walking up this uh, this pile, seeing a ton and ton of quartz in all different forms. Uh, Here's some braciated. You got some. So float right there. You got some more float right there. There's some more braciated quartz. Then you got limestone. A lot of limestone. I have also been seeing every once in a while some basalt pretty nice. Not a lot of it, but a little bit. Now wouldn't it be neat if we could get inside the mine? I mean this, this operation was just amazing. There's a little piece of basalt. A 
lot of metamorphic. It's almost like uh, a couple of these things almost look like lava rocks. It's pretty neat. Now here's an old road that went up. It looked like they were, uh, wow, looked like they were going to prospect right here, but obviously nothing. But here, I just found walking up, so it's a, it's a piece of limestone, weathered limestone. Whatever mineral was in it was softer than the host rock because it left a hole when it weathered. So whatever was in that depression was softer than this. Now you see the quartz stringer who was right there. It could have been anything. It could have been gold, maybe some silver, something, but it was softer than the host rock. That was pretty neat. All right, the, there was a road that was right here. It's obviously, you can't see it much anymore, but this brings you to the other at it. We're, this is the one that uh, <laughs> I showed on my last video somebody's trying to drill back into the into the mountain. Well, there we go. We'll we'll walk up to it. I mean, there's somebody's even trying to. So you got the the old portal right here. So that's been it's been taken care of. So now somebody's trying to tunnel around it to get in. We need to see what's in there. But yeah, if you can see, there's drill holes there. The, chip, the chipper was there. Drill hole there. Drill hole there. You can see where they poured the footing there, and then they built the wall, so you can't can't get there. But if you come over to this side, some ambitious little beaver is trying to uh, access it. Now I'm not going to be crawling in there right now, uh, for the simple fact is a lot of rattlesnakes up here. I really don't want to be on hand and knee crawling in there and cuddle up to Ronnie the rattlesnake. As much as he probably wants a buddy, I don't want to be his buddy. So, and that's one thing out here when you guys are out here detecting, prospecting, or even exploring these areas. You gotta be really careful of Ronnie the rattlesnake. Cause you, uh, you're a long way from helping a lot of these places. And if you get bit, it, it might be a real bad day for you. So, anyways, I'm gonna work myself off of these, these mine dumps. And they're called mine dumps because there wasn't a stamp mill. These are mine dumps, stamp mill or tailings, just to let you guys know. But I'm gonna work my way off, get down to Wilbur, I'm gonna go back down to the main haulage road, and I'm up here surveying the area. And I looked across the canyon, and right up in there, there's another mine. I've gotta go see how, how the land is to get to it. And hopefully we got ourselves an, an adit that's open. That would be really neat. So. Alright everybody. So there's an old head frame. Obviously it rotted away and fell down. Probably pulled down too because it's a sealed shaft. 
Can't get in. But if you look down, there's the collar. And that mine is deep. That would be fun. That would be a just a blast to rappel down into and start exploring the levels of this mine. But yeah, that's the collar. Put in in, in between 1908, but before 1918. Wicked cool. Too bad we can't get in it. Then the old head frame. Then we'll walk to the top of the mine dump and overlook the town. That's where the town was. Then right up there, I'm going to go up a little bit and see what it's going to be like to get up there because there is another added up there, what I can see. Now, how far it goes in, I'm not sure sealed not sure is it just a prospect not sure well, we got to go find out so see you guys over there <laughs>